Hey guys, Dave from Nerdarchy, four nerds by nerds, hang out with this nerd. Nerdarchist Ted. Today we're going to plumb the depths of the past of Dungeons and Dragons to bring you the Grey Render and Goblin combo for this monster, BFF. Hey guys, we're going to start this video by thanking our sponsor, Tobias Bees. And he has products over on the DMs Guild, his Critter Companion for one, and his Raiders and Dinosaurs for another. Dinosaurs and Raiders, what can we expect from there? Raiders and Dinosaurs has some new races, some uh, archetypes built specifically for that kind of setting, as well as all kinds of dinosaur and dinosaur-related monsters. So, you're looking for wear dinosaurs? That's how you get wear dinosaurs. They're uh, great products, and you can check out the link in the description below. Now let's create a monster BFF, and we can, we're going to use a standard goblin right out of the monster manual. And we're going to pair that with a monster that some of you guys might know and love that found its way into the Critter Compendium from earlier editions, and that is the Grey Render. All right. So the goblin is a you know, low challenge rating monster. Everyone's familiar with it. And, you know, by themselves, they're more pests than threat a lot of times, unless they're in mass and numbers. Uh, but the cool thing about Grey Renders is they have this weird aspect to them where they just kind of adopt other creatures and start hanging around them and caring for them. It may be against their will. They, you know, they don't really care. They, they have this savage nature when it comes to claiming their territory and getting into combat. But they have this bizarre twist to that side that says that, you know, when they see that there's other creatures that have that are living and occupying the space that they've claimed as their own, they're like, you know what, I'm going to like that guy and I'm going to bring them presents. I'm going to bring meat or other things that I wind up finding you know, throughout my day. And they bring it to them almost like ritualistically daily. And it's like, wow, that's kind of cool. How can we use that? They might even hug him and squeeze him and call him George. <laughs> so, uh, so we wanted to we wanted to use this and say, this gray render in particular, he has not taken to you know the whole goblin tribe, but one of the goblins, the weakest, runtiest of all the goblins. He's decided he loves that goblin so very <laughs> much. So now that goblin has access to this massive, fearsome creature. A uh, gray render is is large. It's imposing. It's got six eyes. It is a hulking, hulking beast with a twenty strength. You put something this this massive in into a goblin organization. Whoever has the sway of that creature is going to overtake whatever goblins could possibly throw at it. Yeah, you know, not only does it have six eyes, massive claws and teeth. And being a hulking figure, like Ted say said, being large, it, its skin is very much like a, a like a pachydermy skin, like a rhinoceros or an elephant, and it is kind of like ape shaped in it, in its appearance. So we we said, well, what happens if this goblin that's bit that's befriended a gray render takes over his tribe? He's now in charge, and the gray render, willing to do whatever the goblin wants to within degree winds up shaping the area and the goblin maybe he's more intelligent than than some of his kin but not as you know physically adept as the others they build this you know palanquin this you know how to call it whatever you will this, this battle rack that they put on the back of a gray render and now you've got you know a small pack of goblins a quiver a quiver of goblins <laughs> <laughs> and and there's even like uh, you know, railings so the goblins don't fall out, but also going to grant them cover against, you know, any, any kind of effects coming in. Yeah, a little, little half wall. So, you know, as an encounter in, in a combat, it makes it a lot more interesting because, you know, one, you have to deal with this monster, right? And then two, on its back, you have like five goblins firing... Yeah, maybe one of them could be a spellcaster. Maybe they're just all archers. They gotta have they have half cover, so they're gonna have a little bit better armor class. If you want to deal with them with melee weapons, you're going to have to get past their bodyguard, the Grey Render. So it's it just going to add to the threat uh, of the encounter. And then if you have other goblins as well around harrying the adventurers while having to deal with this mobile 
archery platform as well as the the thing carrying the platform, the gray render itself, which is quite fearsome. I mean, the thing has a bite attack. If it hits you, you're considered a grapple, and as a bonus action, it can essentially just na- <laughs> gnaw on you every round. It's like, it, yeah, instead of, instead of biting, I'm just going to chew. Can I just chew this round? <laughs> exactly. And not only that, like, it talks about in this monster's description that they're actually able to chew through th- trees that have, like, a three-foot diameter. So, yeah, these things are, you know, part monster, part lumberjack, <laughs> all terror. So you wind up getting this this small encounter. I mean, the the gray, the gray render is a seven. As we said, goblins, you know, you can get them over a, ver, a variety of different low challenge ratings. So this is going to be something that that's good for like an eighth through tenth level party, depending upon how many goblins you want to put into this. But you know, goblins working together, goblins get the ability to you know hurt the things that are bigger than them quite easy. Uh, so that you can really you know lump some of this stuff together and really put the hurting on the party with goblins on a gray render but one you can do other things too like have a little bit of fun with it where maybe a particular area is kind of being held in terror of these goblins and they're being forced to pay tribute when the adventurers come and you know this is like a medium-sized village and they're like wait a minute you're getting bullied by goblins what do you mean (laughs) and then they turn out there's this other monster that the goblins control which could be problematic uh, it would be one way to go. You know, they they could be totally dominating a particular area. Again, you could have the players come across, like, the aftermath of something. And they find goblin sign, but then they find, like, signs of something else as well. So it becomes a mystery. It, like, did this thing, you know, kill and eat all the goblins? Or, you know, or is it working with the goblins? It you know, becomes a mystery that they can solve before you finally get to the encounter. But... Uh, Gray renders in themselves are unique in the sense that you can almost pair them with any grouping because they're just willing to work with any kind of monster, uh, whether it's evil or not, to be honest with you. Like, in you know, in the description, it's like, here's a list of monsters that it might be paired with and unicorns among them. You know, and not only that is they, they, they have this bond towards not just individuals, but it could be also whole communities. So a gray render is a great way to beef up a particular encounter or monster you're using. Another thing you might do is not just make it obvious, like this is thing just hangs around the lair. And for the most part, it stays there. So your adventurers, they don't really see signs of it necessarily, but they might see signs of the smaller, weaker monster and they go to deal with it. And then bam, there's a gray render too. So that would be a nice, like, shock and all way to go about it, too. If you wanted to if you wanted to make it a little more special and surprise your players and not give them an inkling of what's coming, you know, they're expecting kobolds or goblins or even orcs. And, you know, everything is led up to that, maybe even a couple encounters. And they haven't dealt with this thing yet. And you, you bam this thing onto the table, and it's like, oh, my God! Y- yeah, and, you know, and the Grey Render's coming at you, you know. Even, there could even be banter beforehand if they're intelligent foes, you know, you know, wait till my big buddy gets a hold of you, and they're like, yeah, whatever, there's a bigger orc, so what? <laughs> oh, no, the goblin's got an orc friend, whoop de flip and do and rah! You know, only downside is, you know, Grey Renders don't speak a language they're smart enough to be able to understand. They have a they have a five, but I would have loved to have been able to you know do the uh, the George routine. Yeah, well, yeah, they are they are slightly they're slightly better than beasts when it comes to intellect. They're no they're no paladin mount that's for sure. <laughs> but that being said, like if you wanted to put a spin on it, like you said, the George routine. You could have one that's a little bit smarter. You could have one that's been awakened somehow. Mm. You, could, you know, you could do something like that. <laughs> you could have, if you want to get really crazy, you know, have someone had had convinced it or gotten it to attune to a headband of intellect or something. <laughs> oh, that would be hysterical. <laughs> you know, so so he really is hugging him and squeezing him and calling and calling him George. And, you know, in this case, like, you could, you could still pair him with the goblins or something, but now he considers them all his pets. <laughs> you know, he's actually the king of the goblins. He's ruling the area. He's calling the shots. A lot of times, you know, he's sending the minions out to go collect tribute, and, you know, towns are willingly paying because they do not want him to show up in person to come get it. 
So there, there are definitely different twists and spins you can put on this, on this encounter and these ideas. But the question is, are you or would you have you use something like this in your game? We have a place where you can put that down in the comments below. While you're at it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to head over to the DMs Guild and check out those awesome products by Tobias Bees. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.